All right, we're about to get this going, but I was gonna take you for a little tour of the gym first. Why not? Got our all of our machines over here for walking, running, and then we've got our huge dumbbell section over here with loads of benches all along. More machines all along this row. I'm not gonna do too detailed. You're a gym goer, you kind of see what you, what you like. Come down here, we got our Smith machines. Not bad. A couple of bench machines here. Loads of machines. I'm okay if we just have like dumbbells and barbells to be honest. But we got our kind of system here for the squat rack. Bam with this rack over here. Yeah, I'd say the only two things that I would like to see personally would be some kind of dip bar and then this is always a problem for me though like higher pull-up bars like I can touch them I, you know I can touch the ground <laughs> on most pull-up bars but this one over here we have the machine over here and then it's a little bit higher like little higher but still you know it'd be nice to be able to actually hang from a high pull-up bar and then you have a huge area over here to do whatever you want so yeah i'm super satisfied i paid for just the morning what, what time is it open six i think six seven it must must open six it's the gym you know let's see yeah six o'clock and then it closes later at night i think nine I just pay for the morning, 400,000, so uh, it's like 20 bucks for from six to two. So yeah, I think full price like 800 for the month and then it's cheaper if you, so like $40 for the month, which is quite expensive. It, you know, it's a, it's a gym mall, air condition here in Asia. I'm used to it being like, could be up 40, 50 bucks for a nice gym. So I was paying, I think like, ten dollars when i first got here and then inflation it was like fifteen dollars at my last gym and now this gym yeah i'm very satisfied 20 bucks for it's the closest option it's the only option i have all right let me teach this guy some english and then we'll get on to the market hell yeah that was awesome i haven't trained with anybody in so long and I haven't trained anybody as a client since around the, when the pandemic was breaking out. So it's just so nice to have somebody tweak your form, go over everything, you know, like we're going through these mock training sessions. That was fun. Now let's go check out some sweets. <laughs> They got everything here. They got a little skate rink over here. I mean, if you're coming here to Lao with your family and you need something to do to get out of the heat, then I guess you could bring your kids over here and uh, go to this little skate rink. <laughs> uh, they're having a blast. <laughs> but. I think there's like VR here too. I never tried it. Now we're headed to the market. Been at the gym for like four hours. I'm pretty exhausted. I mean, did my own workout, went upstairs and ate, and then we did our thing. But even with lightweight and just like doing things, trying to get them at that very perfect spot on form jeez louise i'm sore i'm ready for lots of good food from the market and I'll go home and get all this footage off of the camera off the car finish editing this other video and start editing this video i'm looking forward to editing this video we haven't even finished it yet I used to be a fiend for these Dairy Queen. So can you guys read this? Clam cake, 
So that's an ice cream cake, 100% ice cream cake. If anybody wants to know a little secret into my life, ice cream cake is uh, is one of my favorites. I used to be a fiend for Dairy Queen because it's like dirt cheap for a blizzard here. And now I don't even know how much it is. Let's see. What I know. What's the price? Uh, it doesn't matter. It's probably like a buck or something. But I'm not getting one, so I'm not gonna tempt myself. With the screaming baby over there. <laughs> so. Mmm, used to be a fiend to get like a blizzard with brownie chunks in it. This is the only like shop that seems to have a lot of people in it. The rest of the shops tend to be kind of quiet. Except this place, Shabu. People like this buffet. And nobody's ever seen anything like this. I'd be curious to see. But yeah, they have like a line coming in. The only thing that they should do though is have a door covering the kitchen so that you walk by you don't see that the chefs are doing jack squat, but yet the line of food is moving around, so it's just the same stuff, just sitting there. I keep seeing this lady here, and I don't know what she sells. And usually I wouldn't be one to like worry about it, but I'm so broke that I'm like, I don't want it to be like, just terrible. I'm trying to be smart about how I spend my the money that you guys donated to help me do this. Just buy what I need, only what I need. I can go this way. I've never been. I just saw people coming in from this way earlier, so. Let's give it a shot. We'll avoid that light. Are we gonna make it up? Get some speed. How you go? You see these shops a lot. People just set up a little thing on the side of the road and they're just selling like phone cases and screen protectors curtain shop I don't know if you guys noticed that but I'm gonna go back and show you because that's how we do it so if you ever see a car with a big yellow sign you found noodles, if you're a noodles fan. You found them. They're always gonna have noodles. They hardly ever have the, you see the sign here? The wonton noodle with barbecue pork, mikio mudang. They typically don't have the barbecue pork over rice. They always have the noodles, which I don't know why, but noodles don't do anything for me, guys. I'm never full, so I just don't eat noodle dishes. But I thought that's a, there's a little tip for you guys that coming here to travel or visit. Uh, I know a lot, a lot of people seem to be able to stomach the noodles quite easily versus some of the other things that can be, I'm not gonna lie, when I first got here, I've been, been so long since I ate Lao food and especially ate it regularly that everything was very exotic flavors and very strong but my palate adjusted back to the way it was when i ate it all the time and i love love it all now and so i do understand when people are like i love noodles i can't eat this can't eat that 
I get it. The flavors can be quite extreme. So, that's why if you need something mild or you're a noodle type of person, every time you see a cart with a big yellow sign sticking up, yellow red sign. What's up, y'all? We made it to the other side of the bridge that I was telling you about earlier where I don't know where this river is coming from that comes all the way over to Building Tab One, but we're gonna find out. We're going down. I was just gonna film <laughs> passing, but I'm looking at it like, that looks so beautiful. I want to see. <laughs> Should we try to go down this little path with our bike? With one hand in the camera. Yes, we shall. No business. And we're good. Woo! <laughs> Gosh, I need a mount for my bike so I can just cruise. This is awesome. Oh, God. <laughs> can't pass by here every day see what happens as soon as I turn the camera on business out the window oh my gosh get a dirt back out here just yeah I wonder whose property this is because everybody's kind of like people just sit up camp fish when it was deadly hot a week or two ago how oh, was so tempting to jump in here sure be fine the only thing I'm really worried about jumping in these waters that aren't really running water but still water is uh, doping doping that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, oh. oh no every time I this word the leeches yeah leeches Water, the creepy crawlies, they freak me out. I'm gonna come back and go as far down this way as I can and see if it goes to like the next bridge or something. That would be cool. Find out who owns it maybe. What farmers are down here. There's something down here because there's always dump trucks coming through here so Either somebody's building, this is like, this can't be public property though. Sometimes the line between public and private is very gray here. It's just loads of people. It is a beautiful spot to hang out. Like look, sun's going down. People just hanging out, fishing. Nice and cool with a little breeze right here. We're going back to the bridge though. And on to the market. We'll come back and swim another day. Make this a whole video. Just see what we can find on this path. That's a great video. Somebody took ball took bait you ball. Oh, can be a <laughs> can be a they're drinking. I asked them if they're fishing. It's just drinking. I feel like a no fun is not in my personality to be like, see ya, no thank you. But I really have to try guys. Cause otherwise you'd be I'd be a freaking alcoholic here. I get invited for a beer everywhere I go. Which, thank you. I appreciate it. You guys are awesome, loud people. Freaking kindest people. Just random American dudes show up and everybody invites you for a beer. But, 
I would never get anything done. <laughs> I mean, I drank enough beer Lao for this year and next year, my first year here. And I wasn't getting as much done as I'd have liked to. <laughs> A lot of hangovers. I'm gonna bore you guys, but I'm having a great time. I love all these dirt paths that lead just an adventure leads to somewhere. Some a lot of times you just end up finding sweet shortcuts too. Like instead of having to ride the main road, you end up finding a perfectly good path to get to where you need to go that's way nicer. I mean like picturesque. Oh last oh we got up it. <laughs> yeah anytime you can get off the main road find a path without all the cars. Oh shit. I really almost took a dive. There's sometimes they set up a little hair cutting station here and have like three or four guys with chairs doing haircuts right here. God, I really love this spot. If it wasn't for being like a main road, it sure is a beautiful spot. market we were just across the street there earlier now we're in the market and we lucked out beautiful girls here selling today this is where I usually buy stuff from this shop food is oh wow this out of the markets I've been to this might be one of my favorite stalls everything I've got here has been even better than the last place that I tried so, man, look at her. She's beautiful, isn't she? Hey. I, what do I want to eat, though? So, Mun, the lad, Mun Noi. This guy's here every day selling all the noodles, fried stuff. Sad not buy anything there so then you have all the random different things and this person's always here selling the fried fish same stuff hello ain't no mind this person comes sometimes and then usually somebody over there oh my lord i didn't even see the person on the ground there begging i've never not seen that enough so i almost stepped wow that would have been bad all right, what do we want to eat? Lab, of course, always lab. <laughs> I've been getting the by lab pick sometimes. Should do you guys want an introduction to everything here? This is jiao, the salsa, it's like jiao bong. We've got the dried meats here. Wow, so much stuff. We go through every dish for you. We got beef lab here pork lob, probably duck lob over there. Uh, this looks like, oh, uh, looks like alfa, something like goifa. Maybe it's definitely fish. Oh man, there's so many people I can't really chat with them. I'd like to have a little chat. <laughs> Can you marry your food? 
King of Mai is over there. King of Mai Som, you guys see the King of Mai Som. The sour, or the fermented bamboo shoot stew. Maybe, I was gonna wait a second and let it die down, but it doesn't die down, so I might have to just get my stuff and, and come back. But they're very friendly and very nice. Uh, some crab, like all kinds of the innards, kaipalo, eggs, pork. It's got a nice fish stew. King Mama is in the back there. This is a Lao salad. This is chicken, it looks like. Chicken. Might be all. These are all different stews mostly. Stews with different meats in them. Different type of stew. Uh, you got some stir fries though. Like looks like they got the pal back there and like uh, vegetable stir fry back there. This is this is a muyo salad, like the the pork that I sh I don't know if I showed you that pork, but the pork that you it's steamed and then they put it in they make this salad it's really good i got that yesterday i got yamu yo this one and lab mu i think i know what most of the stuff is but i don't know the exact names so of everything but pretty sure i know most stuff it's too busy to bother or nothing. Uh, what should we take? This one's so good with the spicy sauce. Palate fish with spicy sauce on it. This you got like pork and noodles and egg all mixed together. This one you got pork and noodles and eggs wrapped in a lettuce leaf and steamed. Those are salsa. That's a salsa over there. Looks like eggplant salsa down there next to the bong. Thing they have oh they have oh. Uh, what do I want? Ooh. They've got bonpa. This is one I really like bonpa. This is fish eggs. I don't know what this is. I've seen it. They always have it, but I never asked. It might just be like sweet and sour with fish. It looks like Piyawan. This looks like Kilek. Kilek is like a leaf from a tree. It's very bitter in the soup. That one. It looks like some inner, some sort of off. The soup no mai is over there. There's op, op guy looks like. That one with the potatoes. Is the chicken in it? So good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. All of them are good. This one's gonna be a bit, a bit more challenging for folks. I think it's got like a. Actually, this one's got mushrooms. It's not bad. And it's got eggplant. And it's just sometimes if they get really thick pieces of like the skin, whether whether it's. Mostly it's the pork that I struggle with if it's like a really thick piece of like pork skin and it's maybe even got hair on it or something. That might be a little bit hard with the textures. But uh, I mean if it's chicken there's no worries. It's only pork that like kind of gets me sometimes with the texture and weird. But like beef, fat, skin, no, not as big of a deal. Uh, I don't know the difference these two. That looks like pon pot to them. It looks like bone pie as well. I have a hard time when I come because everything I've tried here has been good. Like typically I go to places and I'll try some stuff and they'll have like, I mean, lob is a standard for me, as you know, <laughs> but then other stuff will not be as good. And so I'll just stick with the stuff that's good. But everything I've tried has been so good and it makes it like even that much more difficult to choose what to have for dinner. I have no idea if they are here in the morning. I typically, I typically only buy like, uh, I come at night. So in the morning, cook some eggs. So I'll, I'll buy stuff at night to have for the morning too. 
but yeah. Let's see. The, this is, if that is duck, I want the lob duck. I need my lob duck Yeah, it's duck. I'm getting that one. I'm huge, huge fan of duck anything here. Duck. If you haven't tried duck, please try it here in Laos. It's it's just more savory chicken. It's way better. Chicken is so dry. The duck is just. One of my favorites over there, the the white one, is that's like fermented bamboo shoots. Super super good. Yeah, let's order. Home now, home now, my Thai video. How? The tongue my Thai, my khang ngam ngam no. Oh, so we have bon kok. Bon kok, the bon pa. So this is a frog. I like bon this type of dish. I don't know if I've ever had frog this one. I've had mok kok, but I don't know about bon kok. Long, long, thin bun. Bon kok. Eh, con thang thong ya, who are you? So you bought. คนที่เบิร์นยูยูทางพุ่นเคยเห็นวิดีโอไทเคปเห็นยูทูบเออเจ้าเจ้าโซยูบอกโซเดี๋ยวคนคนทางพุ่นก็ถามบอกเห็นสาวงามบอกได้ก็ต้องถามโซบอโซทุเรศจุโซยูเนาะ Actually I want to know Probably a better way to do it than this. But, um, how do I pay these people? So I got frog uh, puree. And what we I made in that one video, I have a video of me making with uh, Tanoi, we made the pompa. So like fish puree. It's such a bad name, right? It sounds like something you eat at old folks home, but obviously. So I got frog version of that this time. <laughs> this is gonna be good. It's gonna be so good. 20. I'm just gonna have to give them 100, I think. Should I buy some fruits? Probably should. This way. Thing now, kids have said. Ball, don't move, dog. You pee, lah. Tang tin, tang tan, you pee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, วิธีชีวิตยูเมืองเราเป็นแนวไหนคนทั้งคนกับมักคนทั่วโลกกับมักเบิร์นมักเบิร์นคนเราดีกว่าคนเรากับเบิร์นแต่คนทั่วไอทั่วโลกกับเบิร์นกันเออเมืองเรามันเป็นแนวไหนโอ้ดีไซน์ดีได้คนได้ขาดได้ที่เมืองไทยได้เออดีไซน์ดีเออเพราะว่าอาจารย์หวัดอันที่ว่าอันเนี่ยของเพลงไปได้เข้ามาเป็นแม่แม่อันว่าล่ะว่าตายเออว่าตายว่าตายต้องทำมาฟังนี่เนาะฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่า
เดี๋ยวมือหนามาไหมมือหนามาไหมขอบใจเลยเด้อ Let's go to maybe we get some fruit. Join me. <laughs> But moon soup. Oh, so I'm gonna have some pan masa, no? Moon is masu bag moon. เขียวเขียวเขียวเขียวจังสี่สิบวานนี่บอกแล้ววานแท้ฮะประกันเลยยังไม่มันจะบอกวานยังบอกวานบอกตัวนี้มีแซบบอกวานกับมหาเด้อเท่าไหร่เนาะตอนนี้เราบอกมูลโดนนึงเท่าไหร่ร้อยสามสิบพันจีบอกว่าสามสิบพันโอเคเอาล้นนึงนะเอาล้นนึงเลยอันนี้เอาเบอร์เลขบอสามสิบเก้าพันเกียบไกลอีกละไกลแล้วบอกเป็นยังไกลอีกแล้วบอกเป็นยังเนาะยังไงก็กินคือเขาเออเสร็จ it's thirty nine it's a little over a kilo 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 is thirty thousand he said right now so it's like A dollar fifty for a kilo right now. It's a little over a kilo. Thirty-nine thousand. Two bucks basically. Masu, masu, soide, maya, 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 maya. I am so baffled, guys. I'm gonna help every single person that's out there trying to come to Laos because. It blows my mind and makes me sad when people say they had a hard time with the food here. They didn't know what to eat. It was a struggle. Blah, hey, come on. At least you can eat sweets, right? <laughs> these are Lao sweets. Waffles. You got like coconut on these, like gelatin type of things. They're tasty. They're chewy. And then you got like the the old school. Stuff that I love too. Oh, what do you even call it? It's not nam wan. Oh, snap. Any onion? I nam wan. Nam wan. Oh, man, nam nam wan. Nam wan. Say tua lien. Oh, misali. Misali. Oh, there's corn in them. Oh, I like this one. Called the hang mak or tonino. When the with the corn in it, and then there's beans. There's the green loy song jellies. Keeping it nice and cool with the coconut milk in there. Got the fried stuff over here. Yo, 